Hi, it's Megan. Um, I fell hard and heavy for the YSL Summer Collection. I love the brand, and one of my favorite parts of the brand has been their lipsticks, particularly the Rouge Roulette Shine. And I'd done an earlier review for a couple of the more neutral colors, and then this collection came out with these blues and corals and bright pinks, and I, uh, I don't know. I'm a sucker for the summer collections. Partially, I think growing up in Southern California or mostly in California, Northern California too, and then near the beach, you know, the whole thing, being from California originally. Um, whenever they say these like blues luminaire about the Mediterranean, they called it um, inspired by YSL's fascination with the various hues of the blues of the sea with 2014 captures the alluring contrast between the fresh Mediterranean sea with the glowing warmth of summer beaches to achieve the signature YSL radiance. So I really like the summer colors. I like the beach ideas. I'm a cancer, a water sign. I like anything that has to do with water. Blue is my favorite color. So this whole collection just really captured my heart and what it basically is it's an eyeshadow with five eyeshadows it's two eye pencils the waterproof formula a nail polish the um kiss and blush which i've done earlier reviews for so they're not in this video and then two colors from the permanent collection of the rouge volope shine and the rouge volope shine is a more sheer formula than the regular rouge volope i'm a little uncomfortable sometimes with super bright lipsticks so and lately I've just been really into sheer lipsticks for whatever reason, maybe the temperature being warm this year. Um, but I really like this formula. It doesn't last as long. These all get about two and a half, three hours wear, just depending on how hard I am and a little bit with the color. Some of the super light colors, I'm only going to get two and a half. If they're more vibrant, probably three. Um, according to YSL, the formula leaves lips softer and smoother and it provides up to eight hours of hydration. They say dazzling color, extreme comfort, and luminous shine. It is very high shine glossy um, a finish. Not quite like a lip gloss, but definitely more glossy than most lipsticks. And it's kind of a medium formula. To me, it feels a lot like um, one of these lighter, creamier uh, lipstick formulas as opposed to like a gloss or a balm. Maybe it feels a little bit like a liquid balm, you know, the ones that come in tubes. Um, but it's very slick. It's emollient. It... Um, is mostly opaque, although it depends on color, but it does have kind of that semi sheer thing going on, so you have to like that. And it's very hydrating, it's very sheer, very, I think, more natural looking, but the wear time suffers. So, still love this formula. This collection took two Pink and Devotion and Coral and Touch. Coral and Touch is number 14. It's on my lips right now. And according to them, it's a creamy orange coral. I think it's a bright creamy orange coral. But uh, I don't think that it is an unwearably bright orange coral. And it's just such a ba great basic color for the summer. So these are, what, 30 $35 and they are, and I got these all on sale, that's the great thing about all the sales right now, 0.15 ounce, which is larger than most lipsticks. So if you put it on, it's really like a creamy white based, almost a tangerine coral if that makes sense. But since it has kind of that softer white undertone, it doesn't look quite so harsh. And then since it does have that semi sheer formula as well, you can see how glossy it is. It does kind of work with your, yeah, better way, it's better farther away from the light, you can see the color better. Um, it does work with your natural lip tone, which I think makes brighter colors just look more natural. I'm going to take this off on camera because I have very pigmented lips. And so I get a tiny little bit of bleeding occasionally with some of these formulas, but really not that bad. So I've learned if I take these off on camera... People can see my natural lip color. And you can also see, I think, I have a tiny bit of staining with these. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. My lips aren't naturally that bright. And by the way, I've been wearing both these colors all afternoon. So my lips are kind of stained between the two of them. This right here is Pink and Devotion, and they call it a bright hibiscus pink. To me, this looks like, uh, kind of not a lighter fuchsia, but same kind of concept, but it has a little bit less purple than a typical fuchsia would. And uh, again, I think it gets great coverage. I do feel like I have a little loss of my upper lip line here. 
it's not quite as defined as I would like, which does happen with some of these kind of really sheer formulas, but not that bad. And there's the other one. So yeah, away from the camera, you can see the color better. And I have actor swatches, so you can see that as well. But I just love these colors. They basically give this beautiful, bright pop of color, in my opinion, without looking over the top, which if you're kind of transitioning into brighter colors for the summer is easier. But I, I just can't say enough good things about these two. I absolutely love them. In fact, I think I actually love them a little bit more than my more natural ones that I did an earlier video for, just because they make my face pop um, and glow. So that's it. Uh, what did I miss? I think I got it all. And if you have comments, suggestions, other colors that I should try or that I've missed, all the sales seem to be over for a short while, so I won't be buying as much, thank God. Um, I'd love to hear it. Please subscribe on YouTube. And on YouTube, I'm also doing a novel chapter by chapter called Masks, which is about makeup and the masks we wear. Thank you so much.